an area out here 100 miles north of the border. And the police basically... Hey, I don't mean don't to be rude to you, Neil. Just stay there and I'll come back to you in 70 seconds when we start the next hour. It's just, you see how political correctness works and copyright stuff? We all censor ourselves where he thinks he can't say the name of an article. I mean, brother. Brother. Thank you for listening to GC. Brother. Oh, my God. Visit. Totalitarianism comes in many different flavors throughout history. It can come from the right wing, the left wing. It can come from religious cults. It can come from a foreign invading army. And in the modern 21st century, it's basically coming from political correctness, masquerading as the Renaissance, masquerading as liberalism. It seeks to shut down free speech. And the controlled globalist left has willing accomplices in the Republican Party and other conservative and libertarian organizations and groups throughout the world. The robber barons that control this planet are not free market. They are monopoly men who seek to have systems free of competition controlled by offshore combines above the law. The main mission of Infowars.com and my 20 years on air is to shatter the left-right paradigm and to get the public to become aware of what's really governing and controlling society on a mass scale. Bottom line, we have reached that legendary, colossal moment in history where the next thousand years of human development, our very destiny is being decided. That's why we're launching Operation Money Bomb 2015. The first money bomb I've done in three years because we only do these if they're critical to be able to build up our infrastructure. And with the money we raise from this, we will be able to stay on the satellites and get on UHF, VHF, and cable stations across North America, reaching tens of millions of more people right at the time they're receptive and looking for answers. Starting September 16th, through the 17th, we're going to broadcast live from 11 a.m. on the 16th through 2 p.m. on the 17th for 27 hours with an amazing lineup of guests, investigative journalists, documentary films, and more. We are seeking to raise a million dollars so that we can reach 400 million extra people potentially in the next year. Because if you do the math, and if you look at the numbers that we're already getting from affiliates and from the internet and from YouTube and from Facebook and all the platforms, we are reaching 20 million people a week. If you put all that together over a year, that's upwards of 200 million different individuals around the world is how the algorithm metrics come out. So I simply want to double that in the next 12 months after launching this money bomb. Just the satellites, the closed captioning under federal law and other regulations will cost us right at $39,000 a month, which if you add it together is over $400,000 a year alone. When you talk about cameras, crew, studio, million dollars is only a portion of what we need to do this. But it's an important part to ensure with the collapsing economy and the hard times we're going into that we have the funds it takes to keep this beacon of truth exposing globalism and dehumanization operating so join us this september 16th and 17th for what i believe will be the final money bomb that infowars ever runs as we prepare to launch to the next and final level of global awakening because as mahatma gandhi famously said First, they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they attack you, then you win. We are in that process of being massively attacked. And in the face, we're charging up, getting ready, and going in. Go to Infowars.com forward slash money bomb for all the information. And in closing, I want to say this to all of you patriots out there across the globe that have spread the word about our operation and that have supported us. History is happening right now. The destiny of humanity is being decided right now. And InfoWars, which you, the viewers and listeners and activists, stand at the heart of, is the engine that has made all this possible. You're not standing behind the InfoWar. You are standing at the center of it. You are right beside us in this fight. 
And I guarantee you, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Sam Adams would be incredibly proud of what you've done in defense of human freedom, in defense of true liberty. So from myself, Alex Jones, and the entire InfoWars crew, we salute you. Join us this September 16th and 17th for the 27-hour Money Bomb in defense of human liberty. Neil, sorry. Uh, we're just taking calls. We just joined us on stations out there. Callers always call me and they either thank me, which is fine, but like Rush Limbaugh said 20 years ago, just say dittos. Thank you for the thank, but let's hear your info. Listeners want to hear what you have to say. I want to hear what you have to say. Then they'll go further and they'll say, is it all right if I cover these topics? Because... They're used to talk radio. You call up and get interrogated and have to get permission to get on air. We don't screen the calls on air. I'm not a call screener. So it's become a pet peeve. You might as well punch me in the nose to ask me if you can say something. Now, all you can't do is give out phone numbers because you could give out the wrong number or somebody else's number. If it's a public number, I'm fine with it. But other than that, you can listen. We're put you on air. You can agree with me, disagree with me, you, you know, plug stuff, whatever, as long as it doesn't go on too far. I like to really let people on air. I like to really hear what you have to say. So I apologize, Neil, for kind of freaking out earlier. I'm in a really bad mood today. I'm going to be honest with everybody. I probably shouldn't even be on air. But we're having some good informative radio uh, because I really care. This stuff gets to me to live in a country where the government is run by crooks so evil. They're running movements to start shooting cops. And I got to sit there and watch them get away with it. Well, they got Homeland Security breathing down my neck for no reason. I'm sick of the, and I'm not scared of it. I'm sick of the injustice. I'm sick of the betrayal. Man, this country's run by bad people who don't like good people. And I'm sick of good people laying down. I'm telling you right now. And I'm telling Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and David Rockefeller and the New World Order and all of them something. You're not going to get away with starting a civil war in this country. You might pull it off, but in the end, you are going to be brought to justice. Your plan cannot succeed with people knowing about it. So I want listeners to get aggressive, telling people what's happening, getting the word out. Ugh. This is real, folks. They're going to start a civil war. They're starting a war with Russia. Do you understand? The cakewalk won't go on forever. They're gearing up for hell, man. So we need to get past the point of Karen about copyrights. People always ask, can I put your bumper sticker on my car? Can I paint your website on the side of my building? You can do whatever you want. It's free speech. Please do. Anyways, I'm ranting. I apologize, Neil. I really do. You're, you're a nice person. You're a good person. Good job writing a book. I commend you for what you've done. I apologize for being a rude person. Go ahead, Neil. What, what else is on your mind? Tell us about this place you were telling us about. Okay, um, I put my story out on a blog, guncontrolextremism.blogspot.com, and the other site, of course, was the Saga of Three Points, and they're extremely corrupt out here by the border, and I take care of my disabled mother on dirt roads, and that, that it's run by, you know, liberals out here, and we, like, have no roads to drive on and no trash services. And I have to take care of my disabled mother while the borders are down. And I'm like the only defense out here. And the police ignore all of the complaints out here. I've complained so many times about them. It's unbelievable. And I'm targeted by them. And another driver claimed to have seen my gun. And they're trying to give me six years in prison. And I have no criminal record whatsoever. And all oh, I yeah, they're like using all sorts of laws, BLM laws, you name it, to just go after everybody. That's what I mean. The system is predatory. It's going after good people now. And the cops need to realize that they can't go along with this anymore. They're going to be destroyed in it as well. God bless you, sir. I'm sorry to hear you're dealing with that. Otter, Cash, Wild, Nathaniel, I'm coming right to you after the break. We've got a powerful intro. Then we're going right to your phone calls and a ton of news we haven't covered yet. And then we have a special guest, of course, joining us. A lawyer in studio, Adam Lowy, uh, who deals with the whole situation with the police brutality and the police and all the rest of it. Stay with us. Infowars.com. 
Ladies and gentlemen, as promised, we're taking a lot of phone calls today. Uh, and then we're going to have a lawyer in studio uh, who I met downtown years ago and learned he was a listener. And then we ended up having him on as a guest before. And he mainly sues police departments uh, in questionable police actions. So I think it's important to get a perspective from someone that's upset with the police and the way they're behaving, uh, who, who, who isn't calling like Louis Farrakhan uh, for going after him. Uh, and he's a pretty smart guy and, you know, basically looks at both sides of it. But I think it's important to really investigate this. So he's going to go over some cases uh, with us in studio in the next hour. Right now we've got open phones. There is a lot of important news, obviously, up on InfoWars.com. Donald Trump is saying he will sign the GOP pledge, uh, promising not to run as a third party. That means he's even more of a serious candidate, because if he runs, he'll mainly pull conservatives away and put a Democrat in. So that's a really good sign. Now, if somebody more liberal ran third party, he'd pull away from the Democrats. But Democrats work like such a herd that uh, that isn't the case you know, with some of the other perennial uh, candidates like Ralph Nader and others. They just only pull a few percentage points, so it doesn't it doesn't do anything. There's an amazing video up on Infowars.com uh, where John Bowne asks, are they using neutron bombs in Yemen? I mean, their explosion is just so big, it's no way it's conventional bombs. Uh, and he's not saying it's, it, it, it is. He's, he's questioning because we know these weapons uh, exist. These are weapons that basically send out a huge radiation wave, but then don't damage too much actual material. But they don't even look, look like neutron bombs to me. It looks like an atomic bomb or something. It's just really wild video of what's going on over there. That's up on InfoWars.com. Uh, right now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's uh, go ahead and go back to your phone calls. Otter in Massachusetts, you're on the air. Go ahead. Well, greetings, Sons of Liberty uh, 2.0 constitutionalist. How have you been? Man, I'm doing all right, brother. I am uh, I just can feel the quickening. I can, I can just see it intellectually, but also feel the fact that we're all in great, great peril. Can you feel it? I can feel it. It is just thick as mud. I don't know what to call it anymore. Um, ditto, ditto, and ditto. Synchronicity, I can't really get into uh, talking about anything because you're covering it all. You're on it. You're just, you're hitting every thought I have. Bam, bam, bam. So I'm going to say that uh, in June I did the detox, the uh, gallbladder and liver, and it was extended due to uh, different things that were happening in life, and it went on for uh, two and a half weeks that I was prepping for it. And my goodness, I'm knocking on 67, and the things that came out of me, and I have lived a relatively clean life, uh, non-smoking, uh, non-meat eating, red meat. Uh, since I was like 13, I'd begun to do supplementation because I knew that the nutrients and food were going down, having come up on the farm, uh, exposure to DDT, exposure to Agent Orange, exposure to the geoengineering and everything, including what Dr. Group was talking about yesterday, clearly has uh, the air, the water, the soil, the foods had taken a toll on me. And I do feel considerably younger, and I'm actually seeing hair follicles come in that weren't a lot of them aren't places I particularly need them, my arms and chest, but uh, as well, my hair is thickening on my head. The products that you're selling are, fanat are fanatical uh, in, in your efforts, and uh, they are proven through their use. So I wanted to thank you all for all of that effort, and I guess I'm going to let you go on to the next person. I would go on to labels, and I would go on to uh, Bilderberg Jr. that just went down here where I am. Well, go ahead. And, uh, Go ahead. Uh, well, Bill was walking around all over the place. You know, I saw Bill six blocks away from where I sit right this moment. Come uh, on, Bill Clinton? Probably, yep, yep. I would say that uh, he probably, from what you could tell, had more one-on-one -on -one face time physically. But this place just became, you could not go anywhere that it wasn't uh, propagandist, media, uh Authors, politicians, uh, musicians, you name it, all groveling. It was just grovel central. And it, it was, it was mind-boggling. I mean, in one sense, I ran into a fellow, I was talking in a grocery store, and a number of people were around me, and you could tell